Sorry, Sorry, I wanted to make sure that I... my laptop to get a little bit more contrast. Um, yeah. Oops. 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 There you go. Don't touch the scroll wheel. Um, <laughs> just bought a new computer and the screen is a touch screen. Boy, that messes you up when you don't. <laughs> when you've never had one of those before. Yeah, it takes some getting used to for sure. Yeah. All right, so I finally, I finally figured out how to record this. Uh, I think because I was sharing my screen, the regular record button wasn't there. So we are officially recording now. Um, but I want to make sure we work because Pat's not on this. Um, so, so, I mean, I mean, it's certainly symmetrical. And it's and just a very graphic nature of it. I love the, I don't know, it must be like sandpiper footprint or something going around, going across it. Crab. Little crabs. Crabs. I don't know what do you guys think. I expect to hear the ocean in the background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then it'd be nice and relaxing. <laughs> John, should I see if you can add a little contrast to it? See if that will bring a little bit more detail in this or darken the shadows slightly. All right, give me just a sec here. Yeah, it doesn't need much, just a, just like a, a little bit. I don't think I really want to do much as far as contrast. You don't want to bring the highlights up too much. Stop the shadows. shadows down a bit. Or even a little clarity, maybe. What about dehazing? I think so they definitely, adds, yeah. definitely adds definition, but there's something about the soft quality of it too that I kind of like without yeah. adding all the extra contrast, you know? How about up in the blacks a little bit? You mean just take them down a little bit? Uh, you yeah, make them a little darker, I would think. All right. Oops. Uh, yeah. yeah, just a little. So sometimes I like to go all the way just to see like what is at the other end. So I know yeah. I have a gauge. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it definitely adds a lot of definition. You know, just bringing the darks down, the blacks, or adding in, you know, some like dehaze style contrast. The more you do that, the more I think that those little footprints are distracting towards it. I, I agree. Yes. Yeah brings them out too much more, kind of like the fact that they're subtle. Yeah, and there's just a nice evenness to the tones that's that's really nice, yeah. you know? Yeah. Or even if you could bring the whites down a little bit, I think that's, I mean, I love, I love the symmetrical lines and then the way they're going, but that white almost pops out too much. Mm. Yeah, I think it's legit white sand, which makes it hard. That's to affect the entire image. I think you'd probably have to end up doing like a brush on that. If anything, in, in the areas that you'd want to adjust. What about changing the color balance a little? A little, a little more yellow. That would affect the way the contrast looks. I don't know. I'm not really paying attention to this. I'm just looking. Yeah, I don't know. It's tough think, to it's tough to say that Pat is wrong, you know. I think in trying to change it, um, it's not. I don't think it's as much shadows and light. I think that it's it is the white sand 
in the in the tracks that's been blowing around um the sand is somehow lighter and i just i don't think that by adjusting the darkness that it's doing it any justice because i think that is what it is and i think it's got to those tones have to be there yeah i like the original tones yeah i mean that's the original yeah without a spoon i i don't know i like the picture i just find it relaxing yeah. Like I said, all I need is the, the waves, the noise of the waves, that's it. <clears throat> Flip it on its side. I bet it won't be nearly as relaxing. Almost looks, it almost looks like a 3D picture. <laughs> no, you're right, though. The vertical lines add a lot of tension. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole demeanor. Yeah, very cool. All right, well, if Pat Corlin ever watches this, good job, Pat Corlin. <laughs> All right, where are we at? We're here. The Dead Mannings. Turn the clipping off. Okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, we went downtown Concord after we went and saw the baby. <clears throat> and I said, oh, it's lit up. My only thing I would think, I like I like how the dome, I think you get a good angle on that. The only thing I would is probably like, see if there's a way I can get an angle without that tree block in it. Because I think yeah. green with you know, what we're trying to see, especially with it being symmetry. Um, uh -huh. if higher above the eagle, then I think it would work to keep you in there. Um, I think I have one without the tree. You know, the tree is, I think I have one. I'd have to go on, because I don't have my computer. My computer's in the shop. I had to use hubbies, <laughs> which was driving me crazy, but that's besides the point. I think I have one of this, almost the same shot with, with the tree without the branch in the way. <clears throat> or, or lilacs around it. The other thing is I might crop a little bit to the left too, so I'd have the same balance with the sky on each side. Uh -huh. I think it's a little weighted to the right, but that, that's what I would say. I like the I like the the dome. I think that's a great perspective for that. Yeah, right about there, ish. Yeah. Yeah, that puts the the eagle right up the center too. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> I'm with Jared on this. If you could have taken a couple of steps just to your left, yep. just found an angle to sort of frame up all of this around yep. instead of letting it kind of like creep in here. Yeah. Maybe a step, like because I think maybe a step to the right so that way you're looking directly at that middle section and having that or the, we're right before the gold starts. Uh -huh. right. Um, and then that way it would come up and above to the right hand side and it'd be almost like framing that eagle in. Yeah, I have to go back and look. <clears throat> I would I would try it from a bunch of different angles because maybe there's like something else around that could really frame the top of that too, especially with the clear sky. It would it would definitely add a little bit of interest to it too to keep you in the picture. Place. Yeah. Outside. I have other shots of it. I think I have like four shots of it and I, I did move around. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, uh, your exposure is spot on put it that way i mean as far as shooting the lit up dome i mean you uh -huh. nailed it the direction of light i can smell that across like how that the right side of the dome is a little bit brighter because the direction of light's coming from there so i think that helps too yeah i think i think we what time did we get over there i think it was around seven o'clock that we were over there so the sky was still pretty bright 
but I was surprised that, you know, the uh, light split up the dome the way it did. I mean, I just had to come home and once I put it on, I don't know what program comes with Microsoft, but um, I darkened it up a little bit and it really brought the gold out. <clears throat> Always exposed to the right, more information that way. Well, I usually take several shots, um, usually under and over and mm -hmm. at, you know, whatever the camera says is the right exposure and then one step under and one step over <clears throat> to see which one I like. Yep. I think what I feel is it, it's symmetric, the dome is symmetrical, but I'm missing that bottom part of the windows. I just feel like we need a little bit more. Okay. And I know you don't have it in that shot, but. <clears throat> Yeah, I can't help but to think that if the tree wasn't there at all, you'd have a really nice, just clean, symmetrical image. Mm -hmm. You'd have this just completely clear blue, you know, bluish background, which has a nice color balance with the golds and the yellows in here. So it makes it, it just works really nicely together. Oh. Um, and yeah, if, and then just running it right up the center like this, if this tree and everything wasn't here and you just brought it down a little bit, you know, crop wise, you crop it down and yeah, I think you'd have a great image here. Go back and shoot it again, Deb. I will. I will. It's, it's like I said, we were over in Concord and, you know, I saw the dome was lit and we were there at the right, the right time. <clears throat> yeah, your exposure is great. It's, it's sharp. It looks great. I think, uh, you know, lose the tree. <laughs> Okay, I'll go chop it down. <laughs> I'll just say, like, the more I looked at it, the more like, like this was always distracting to me. Yeah. But I really didn't mind this. It felt like it kind of framed it up nicely. But then the more I looked at it, the more I kind of thought, you know, if this wasn't here at all, it would just like all of the tension would be gone. It would just be a nice relaxing image. Yeah. So. But still, I think just handling the the light and dealing with artificial lights and natural light and you did a great job shooting it oh thanks <clears throat> all right anybody have anything else for deb deb was this at golden hour i missed that um it was it was around seven o'clock at night yeah it, that was a good time because i think it helps the the light hit the dome really gets a nice warm color tone that's good choice of time. Yeah, and like that that golden light hitting that golden dome, it really makes it pop. Yeah, and it even brings up the gold inside of the white too, so it's like not a pure white either, which is I think really ma matches that too. Yeah. Like, by day, I think it would just be overwhelming. So that's the that's the right time of the day to shoot that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and that that was handheld too. It wasn't with the tripod either. Yeah. <laughs> Dang and tree. One nice thing about photography, if you don't like the shot the first time, you get to go back and shoot the same subject again. And maybe you can get yep. better. So. Especially if it's a building. They don't tend to move. Very true. That, that yeah. is very true. That building will likely, now don't don't quote me on this, but likely it will be right where you left it. Well, I hope it didn't run away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice job, Deb. Thanks. All right. Next up. Uh, the newest member of the camera club, Christine Baker. So I went for a 12 mile bike ride in Wolfboro, um, the Cotton Valley Rail Trail. It's a lot of and miles. This was taken with my phone because I obviously was not going to drag my camera 12 miles on a bike. <laughs> um, but I just loved the the leaves, the new growth coming through, the old leaves and the old rails, it just really caught my eye. It looks like you like can that. step in the picture. What? It looks like you can step in the picture. You know, you can just like take a step and you'd be right in the picture. Yeah. Great image. Yeah, I think the, the composition is, is lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I love the leading lines and almost, it looks like it's a, it go, goes off into like a vanishing point because of the growth over the tracks. So you see them, they lead you in and then it tells a good story. The, the only thing that I find distracting is that little red spot up and to the left. Oh, the no trespassing center. Oh, that one right, right there. I would just kill that, get rid of that. Oh, yep. That just, but other than that, it's, I love it. Thank you. Yeah, the only thing that's grabbing my eye is uh, that I think that you're a little oversaturated in the sky and probably in these yellows and greens in here. Because it because the oversaturation tends to cr like create the uh, effect of a bright spot, my eye mm -hmm. keeps, like I want to just stay here and I keep kind of bouncing up here because it, it's dragging me up there. Yeah. So just take that saturation down a little, just a little. Okay. So then you can even see like, the amount of saturation that's here, it's starting to break up a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which I know it's a it's a phone photo. I mean, it, it's taken out a sensor, you know, about the size of your fingernail. But um, <laughs> yeah, so when you push your saturation, you'll start to get like these, this is like a haloing line here that's happening here. Um, and you can actually see where like the JPEGs, it's actually artifacting just because of how far it's been pushed. Yeah. So, but I mean, this is nitpicking it because I think it's a beautiful image. And I think if you just worked it over a little bit better, um, yeah, I think you have a real winner here. Thank you. Very pretty. And a great trail to walk or bike on. Yeah, I don't know. It was a great, it was so flat and just, it yeah. was, it was a great ride. Someday I'm going to get up there and actually like explore Wolfboro a little bit. I've never really spent much time there. Why don't we do a walk up in Wolfboro? All right, you plan it. You pick a day and we'll go. Yeah, I can't plan anything right now. <laughs> I got way too much going on in my life. I'm not even going to be able to go out and tune photography anymore. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's all great news and everything, but it, it probably does mean a, a fair amount of work for you, huh? Oh, yeah, definitely a fair amount of work. And Pat, I'm not going to Mount Auburn this week, by the way. You're not? No. I got to clean my house before he comes home. I got to get all the pollen out of here. Well, it, it's a, quite a different change of plans. Yeah, yeah just, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you need to apologize for anything at all, Lisa. Uh, uh, nope. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah. Now, I've been wanting to get up there and do that, that real trail. I've snowmobiled on it. I've never walked it. Because it goes all the way to Wakefield, correct? Yeah, yes. it comes out close to the uh, Poor People's Pub. Yep. Oh, okay, yep. yep. Yeah, I've snowmobiled from Wakefield over to Wolfboro on it, but I've never been on it during any you know, other season. You know, another really great trail is the Eastern Trail. It's in Mass in Maine. Yep. If you pick that up in Scarborough, if you go one direction, you can go back to Old Orchard Beach. And if you go the other direction, you go up to Portland. It, it's a beautiful, beautiful trail. Is that all tar, though? No. It's not, it's not no. tar, okay. No, uh, portions of it might be. I, I, not any place I've ever been. Okay. But there it's similar portions. to this one where you cross roads. Yeah. Huh. You know, and you, yeah, you it's, go it's through. A, right, it's old railroad beds. But yeah. some, huh. yep. yeah, but there, there are some that, sections that are um, tar, but not. Probably, I yeah. wouldn't oh. be surprised. Yeah. So uh, does anybody have anything else for Christine? Not to, I just wanna kind of keep us on track here a little bit. Yep. No, no, gorgeous image. I love it. Yeah, I like the picture. Yeah. Very pretty. Thank you. All right, Christina, I concur. I think it's a fantastic image. Um, yep. If you do rework it at all, post it on the members only group. I'd love to see uh, what you come up with if you do end up re reworking it. Okay. Yeah, I think it's great. Thank you. All right. Next up, Pat Watts. Uh, what is, no, I'm joking. There we go. What am I looking at here? A lobster trap. Oh yeah, I know. This is, uh, I recognize this lobster trap. This was out on the commercial pier, right? Yep. Yeah, from there was a whole stack of them. Yep, from our walk. Yep. I love all that detail. Holy moly. Yeah, it's, I love it too. Very rustic. I tried on the top edge. I didn't know if I wanted to take the 
the top edge of the lobster trap out and I didn't like it out. It just, nope. the lines went into nothing. And then I did crop it just a tiny bit from the left. Um, the, it started to go into another set of lobster traps and that was the original idea to create some tension and, and the whole picture of it, but that didn't work either. So I just cropped it in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, the it's, it's, shadow of that. it's what? I said I love the colors and the shadows. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and I think the uh, the symmetry is nice too uh, mm -hmm. to accomplish that as well. Because I think it's, I mean, just as a graphical image, it's this little V shape that the rope makes does a nice job sort of bisecting everything. Um, and no, it's not exactly the same on both sides, but it is nicely weighted and it does work, I think. I figured that it was the tension that the asymmetrical part being on an angle, but the rope was symmetrical. Yeah, exactly. And and when you look at it in terms of, yes, the, I, I can see the traps are, you know, you know, taken at an angle. Um, but when you just sort of look at it as a completely two dimensional photograph, and you're just looking at it graphically. That's what I was talking about. Like it's, it just works really well. Because um, it's just weighted really nicely on both sides. And then you have this other triangle shape up on top, that is darker than the rest of it. So it almost like adds to it as well. a little out of my comfort zone so that was fine. Great. great you should always be out of your comfort zone if you stay in your comfort zone it gets boring nice job pat yeah Thank really you. nice yeah i like it i love it pat it's really nice good Thanks. detail very nice nicely exposed these shadows are great the light that day was, that we didn't we couldn't have asked for a better light that day it was great uh, that was a great day that would make a nice big picture in a cottage. <laughs> yeah, night like yeah. yeah. on the yeah. coast. Yep. How about a crop right in the middle? So it captures the whole knot. Yeah, that would be a completely <laughs> different image, but it would be yeah. a good one. Yeah. Very, very nice, Pat. Thank you. Anybody have uh Anything else for Pat? All right. Very nice. All right. Next up, this one is mine. I know where that is. That was taken the same day. <laughs> <laughs> same area, too. You were having fun with the shadows. Yeah, I like the shadows. That's, that's very cool. Yeah, that's the first thing that caught my eye was there's just the directions of the shadows. And you've got the symmetry between the windows and the, the buoys are asymmetrical, but then the shadows kind of balance them in some way. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, it's really nice, Sean. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the way I was looking at it symmetrically, uh, symmetry wise, is that this one, this yellow one is sort of my centerpiece. Yeah. On this side, we have four buoys, but on this side, we have five. And then on this side, because you can see through the window, it takes away a little bit of weight, but this side you can't. And so it's completely black. And so it, it just sort of works kind of bouncing off each other where like it's heavier here, but then heavier on this side off in the distance. I think that's too much analyzing. It just works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I have to know. I have to know why it works. Yeah, yeah I, I think sometimes we just. You're right. But sometimes we overdo it. <laughs> I think also the window being light on the um, left brings you, you know, over there first and brings you across. Where if you, they were both light, it may not read this. It wouldn't read the same way. No, and you can you can use the shadows to act act as almost leading lines mm -hmm. because they're all kind of angling that same direction. Very nice. Good 
great shot. I have nothing to say, negative or positive. I think it's a great shot. All positive for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Nice work, Sean. Good work, Sean. Nice, nice, nice work. Hi, Sean. <laughs> All I right. thought so the little ghost up there. <laughs> All right. So this one's Nikki's. Okay. This one's mine. Um, it was shot F8, uh, 1 hundredth, ISO 835 millimeter. Um, I had taken a good portion of the door. I wish I'd stepped forward more um, so the glass would have been clearer in the bottles. It, it was very wavy glass. Um, mm -hmm. It was shadowy um, taking it. What I liked about this in the symmetry you had the four windows going across. You had your horizontal lines and your vertical lines. And then if you start at the left um, and look at the glass, um, the bottles in the window, you have the taller one in the middle and the shorter ones go off the side. And then looking at the two windows, the two taller ones are on each side of each other and then they go down from there. Um, and then it looks like on the right hand side, it goes back up again. I think I like seeing the windows in this, the waviness shows up and um, if the windows didn't show up, I don't think it would have the same impact. Yeah, yeah it, it would. The reflections in the glass, like there's like a there's face, a ghost right here. Face right there. It's like, yeah. <laughs> well, even in the middle, even on the other bottle that has, because that's what I say. No, we got right here. Look. Yeah. yeah. That's almost creepy. <laughs> well, you know, these houses are old. You never know. They might have made decided to make an appearance. <laughs> no, I, I mean, this is one of those instances where like a, a polarizer would have ruined the image. You want oh, yeah. Difference. Yeah. I mean, it's nice that you can see the bottles and I see what you're saying. And kind of like they almost make like a, an interesting wavy sort of shape out of them, which is really cool. Oh. Yeah. And so I did the, notice that when I took the picture as I started playing around with it and looking really looking at the bottles. I'm like, wow, they even put them, you know, arranged them. Yeah, I just, but I love the the reflections, things that like whatever it's picking up just from the sky, the clouds, the trees around it. Yeah, it's all really cool. When I, I, do, what, I do have a question because I shot this at the higher ISO. It was, you know, it had the grain, it was noisy. Um, does anyone use um, Topaz Labs? Not for noise. I use them for sharpening. I use, it for, I use uh, Nick software for noise. I, I find that Define is like, I've, well, I've never used Topaz. I like Define so so much. I haven't tried anything else. Okay. Well, where it was a stationary object, did you use that ISO for a reason? Um, With no more, movement? Um, more so... I was thinking just so that because I actually this is this is a stacked image too, um, uh, and just so I could capture them all. Yeah, because I wasn't opening the tripod every time, so that was the other reason. Gotcha. Well, I, use, I use Topaz Dino's AI. It works really really good. Yeah, and you're using it for like Milky Way shots and stuff where there's t always tons of noise, right? Oh my god, I use it for a lot of high ISO noise, and it eliminates it all. I mean, some of it you can't, but you can go in and remove like some of the small pictures, but it does a very, very good job. Yeah, okay. and I'm personally, and I, I'm on the, in the minority, I think from a lot of people, but I personally don't really mind noise that much, to be quite honest with you. Um, noise, because even if there's a lot of it, if you just turned it black and white, mm -hmm. all of a sudden now it almost looks like it belongs. Yeah. You know, um, I don't really worry too much about noise. I would rather have noise than push the denoise so far that you start to kind of muddy up the details. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so that's just me. Um, and that, I mean, I come from an event coverage place, which means like it's get the shot. And if there's noise, there's noise. Um, that's not to say that I won't try and remove noise if I if it's bothering me, but I, I will be really, I will leave some of it because I'm not gonna lose my details. I would any I to this one. I don't think there's that significant amount of noise. I think it would actually it blends well with this image, anyways, just because you get the old rustic building, you got the kind of 
almost like stained glass, like older glass, but it's not super clear. So I think it would work all right in this in this one. And I don't think you really need to go remove anything. Yeah, now can you <laughs> can you convert this to black and white? I think. Thank you. It just did. Yep. <laughs> I like it in black and white. I think better. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I went back and forth on the black and white whether I wanted to keep it the you know off white color or black and white. I kept mm -hmm. playing back and forth and just stuck with the color. Well, it yeah. brings out that little face. A little just work with it. Yeah. And just I mean, just so you can see too, like I'm putting grain back into it. And in black, I mean, I don't think it looks bad. I really don't. I think it no, looks. No, I like it. You know, I'm, I'm. I mean, you can get crazy about it. I mean, if it looks like oh, this yeah. out of camera, that's a different story. But like, if you're only seeing a little bit of noise in there, I really wouldn't worry too much about it. First, okay. it's never going to print. First of all, um, noise doesn't print. If you didn't know that, so if you're ever going to print this, you wouldn't see the noise. Um, secondly. Once you size it down to put it on Facebook or wherever, you're not gonna. No one's ever gonna see the noise, anyways. Um, so, I I sort of came to my own conclusion that noise and my reaction to it usually has more to do with whether or not I'm pixel keeping. Um, then, you know, like what effect does it really have? I've never once had a client say, "I really like the photo, but there's a lot of noise in it." You know, it's never <laughs> happened. Um, but like. I mean, even just turning it black and white and even pushing a little noise back into it, I actually really like it. It makes it look like an old photo. Yeah, it yeah, gives it a real sort of, it gives a character. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like the old time photos, you know, and if you didn't know it was taken recently, you might think it was taken a while back, back quite a few years ago, <clears throat> a lot of years ago. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm only saying that, I mean, it does look like, you did you push the noise reduction pretty hard on this? Um, yeah, in the um, light room under the uh, details and the um, luminance and the sharpening. Yeah, so it, it does look like you may have muddied up some of your details just doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it's in, in the end, it's an artistic cho it's an artistic choice what you do with it. But I'm just trying to give you a different uh, have a different point of view. Yep. Okay. Now, what were you using for ISO? I'm um, sorry. What were you using for an ISO? It's eight hundred. Eight hundred. 800. Is that a yeah, that wasn't all that high. Yeah, that's not that high. No, no for some no. reason, I thought you said something higher. Yeah, than I would that, have but... 400, 800, typically, anyhow. But um, a lot of people run auto ISO, and that screws you up, too. Yeah, don't run auto ISO. unless no. A lot of cameras will let you put a, a cap on it. So you yeah. can tap and say, don't go past 800 or something. Um, but yeah, I, I knew, I know people who use auto ISO, and that just all of a sudden they're up at like 3,000, 3,600 or something. It's just nothing but noise, yeah. depending on what you're using. But. I, I think what I'm finding interesting is the symmetry is, for, is between the right and the left, but that number 19 gives it enough weight to, um, to offset the whole line of four panes of the dark glass. Yeah, it creates like a triangle. It, oh. it just, yeah, it, it weighs it evenly. It weighs it the right way. Without that, I don't know what it would be like, but it works. Yeah, I took out the 19, but I didn't like it. It, it lost something, and I didn't even think about the triangle with the black and white. Nikki, I, <clears throat> I find myself kind of, when I look at the bottles, it feels like a wave. Like you've got the symmetry and everything's even, but then you kind of flow through just the, as the way the bottles are all up and down and circle back around with 19. It's really nice. Yeah. Really yeah, interesting. All these hard angles of the window and the door and the, I'm assuming it's a door, but the window and all the architecture, it's all hard angles. And then you have all the wavy glass in here and these like, you know, rounded shapes and stuff of the bottles. It's, it's a nice contrast. It's all really, it's a very cool shot. Okay. Thank you. All right. Anybody have anything else for Nikki? Nikki, was this taken during the walk? Cool. Yes, it was. Yeah, it was one of them taken during the walk. Yeah. All right. And I know that this one was taken during the walk, Peter. 
Because <laughs> I think, because uh, we talked through this one quite a while. <laughs> Except for that flower pot, that's very symmetrical. Well, I think the flower pot is offset by the uh, nest doorbell on the left side. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was just happy to get there before Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, too funny, Peter, because I got the same. She was stealing my shots all day. <laughs> I, all, I, as, I as well have this shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All you That's need is an I... Amazon Amazon package to the left. That'll balance it. <laughs> yeah, or like there was there was two doors that had it was like a flower pot on this side, and then there was a newspaper sitting on the steps over here. Oh, I don't know. I think I, I think I went to a different door, Peter. I don't think I have that door, do I? <laughs> I don't know, but you were yelling at me anyway. I think you did. <laughs> well, that's because every time I pointed to something to go, take, you ran over and grabbed a picture of it first. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was all Chris's fault. She was directing them. <laughs> yeah, right. <clears throat> well, it was nice. It was nice for me to go on the walk because Chris and I would go out and shoot for a day. And I get back and look at my pictures and try to remember why I took it. So oh yeah, this, I do have the, the exact same door. Yeah, yeah I this this gave me a a goal, if if nothing else, to look for the symmetry and things, and that helped a lot, Sean. So thank you for that. Living with a creative person like my wife, is, I feel handicapped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lost you two on the walk. All of a sudden, you weren't there. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we bailed. <laughs> I I had had enough. <laughs> it was you, you guys said in the beginning that you're only going to stick around as long as you know for a little while. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we all sort of headed down to the south end, and you guys headed to Prescott Park, right? We did not go to Prescott Park. No, we never got that far. We we actually hung around the, around the Cure, looking at the menu, thinking about having lunch. <laughs> oh, I've been there. I've been there. That place is good. Yeah, it looks good. It was fun though. I wanted I wanted to see Portsmouth from the view of you guys who know it. We've only been here for two years and haven't had that much opportunity to get over there. Uh, Portsmouth is a great city. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Nice job, Pete. Very nice. Oh, gee, thanks. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see. What are you trying to find yours? <laughs> no, uh, I got Chris's photo. I just want to get it imported real quick. Oh. No, not speakers. Challenges. I had trouble getting them sent. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chris got that one too. I got that one too. <laughs> <laughs> Why I left the two of them, they were taking all my pictures. <laughs> All right, so this one is Chris Morse's. We'll do the two Morse's back to back here. <laughs> what I find interesting is how this circle is on the same left hand. So it makes it so it doesn't look like a mirror image. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like the stickers are more or less in the same place. And I know, you know, if it was a mirror, one of them would be backwards, but like I, I want this to be on the outside. I'm sorry. I. You know, I knew I should have tried to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I think you, you needed to go full Hogwarts and make that happen. <laughs> yeah. Very symmetrical. Very symmetrical. What's that? What they have on the right one near where that little rusty hole, uh, circle is? There's like that black thing that kind of distracts me a little bit right behind it. Yeah. What is that? Right yes, yeah. Oh, it's probably a car or something or something back there because there's like road cones and stuff. I would just remember that. That would, I think that would, because uh, I keep looking at the symmetrical and for some reason it almost looks like it's the same kind of the color as that. So it almost looks attached a little bit, even though I know it's not. That's it. I, I think it really well, well yeah. Uh, um, positioned. Yeah, I really like it. it it's almost like that's um, part of the shadow. Like you're looking at it and you see the shadow and then it extends. So yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. That's very symmetrical. Very. <laughs> <laughs> Almost borderline boring, Lisa. 
it scared me that I, I lined up on it first and walked away from it and she took it, but oh damn. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sean, I had sent the second picture as well. I had sent more than one email to you. Did you happen to catch that too? I did, but we only allow one. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's get through everybody. Let's get through all of them first, and then if there's time, we'll we'll do that one as well. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. Well, no, I mean I'm not trying to be like, you know. Uh, let's see. All right, where did we leave off? Here? The doors. Oh, we uh, yeah, we were at the doors. Yeah, they're not in the same order as they were before. Yes, yeah. they are. It's the top going three. Oh, you just oh, go the opposite direction. Down here. Oh, yeah, okay. what happened down here? Huh, that one. This one. Yeah. Yep. So this yeah. is the Cena Navarro's. I love it. Very pretty. I like the detail. Mm. Was that in Portsmouth? No. Yeah, it was. It was? Mm -hmm. It's in Strawberry Bank, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is when I detoured from everybody else so I could get original images. <laughs> <laughs> Smart move. <laughs> That's funny, though. I think I have a picture of this wheel. <laughs> Not from the For same sure. day, from a different walk. But, uh... <laughs> It's, it's like it's just like leaning up against the wall, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice to see you know. Thank you. Yeah. Really great light, and, and then you get a nice crisp shadow coming in. I like the symmetry, and then it it's then it's not like perfectly sym symmetrical because mm. all the different spokes are different lengths as it goes around and shapes it. It's really it's really nice. That is very so, you, Asina. <laughs> is it? Yes. Why? Because it looks like a flower. <laughs> <laughs> well, just it, it's got it's not perfectly symmetrical, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling that's the way you like to do it, and it works. Yeah, and that's kind of what I was. I was so happy to get this because. The way that I was looking at it was what is totally in focus right up front. With some, you know, that circle is symmetrical and it is like, it's just about dead center. And then the, like the orange metal behind it is off center slightly, but then it's like, I feel like it's evenly weighted by all the wood that's behind it, like all the spokes that are behind it. So mm -hmm. I was, I was pretty happy that it came out symmetrical, even though it's not symmetrical. Nice image. Thank you. And I love the colors. Mm. I, I like the textures. Yeah, and I like the textures too. Textures change as, it ch as yeah. the section changes size. Mm -hmm. Totally off subject. Are you sitting in a camper? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Zoom meeting in my camper last weekend. <laughs> Because if I was in the house, my husband's watching TV, the dogs and the cats are all over me, and I can't have a conversation. So it's easier for me to just escape into the camper. <laughs> I hadn't thought to do that. <laughs> it's, it's my mobile command center. There you go. <laughs> oh, special agent, Asina. <laughs> So I had I had tried on this one to um, to go into black and white, thinking like if I was really trying to look at the the photo itself, and I, taking it into black and white, I absolutely hated it because I I ended up just loving that orange and the green, like the, the green, green that's right up front, and then the orange yeah. just behind it, and I just absolutely love those colors, and I couldn't get rid of them. No, the, the rustiness okay. adds a lot I agree. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And you've even got that little touch of blue and a little touch of yellow and yep. you kind of cover all the bases, but it looks very neutral. It's, it's well done. Does the focal point bother anybody? Nope. I'm trying to decide that. Because, because I kind of went back and forth on that too. And I, 
like if I had just expanded it a little bit more to get more of the detail in the background as well, like would I have lost what I had right up front? And I, and then, and then I thought that, well, maybe it is that, that tension because a symmetrical photo can be kind of boring that if there's that little bit of tension somewhere and if it's if it's drawing you right to the front right to the like almost dead center but there's so much more interesting stuff going on in the background does it keep pulling you back and forth or is it distracting i go back and forth and it's not distracting i you have the sharp point in the center and i don't see where you said in the bottom the metal um and i don't see that as the center, it everything looks just a little bit skewed and in the right way. Um, I feel like you, you're moving because it's not centered. It's not completely symmetrical. Okay. Yeah, I, I, like, it, I like it down here. I'm just trying to decide if I like it all the way down here, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I kind of I kind of would like to see this hexagon shape not be cut off. Mm. Yep. Um, and then again, just nitpicky like crazy. And I know yep. something you love that. Um, <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I mean, but I like I like that the circle is a semicircle, and then you have another semicircle here, and then so that makes sense to me. I just don't know if maybe this being up like from here to like here, like this center part huh? up just up just a little bit, so you get the whole hexagon shape, but. I mean, I unless you can, unless you actually have that and we can see it, who knows if it's better or not, you know? No, I think this is the full image. I don't think I cropped. So I'd have okay. to go in. I think it would take away if you if you had the whole octa, you know, the whole I think it's a nut, but um I think I think it would have taken away. I like the angle of this. Yeah. Okay. It's it's not com you know, I mean it's not common. And I makes your work a little bit. Yeah, you have to figure out what you're looking at at first. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No, it makes an interesting image. I think it would have been too ordinary if she, if the nut, the full, you know, the bottom hadn't been cut off a little bit. Okay. I, you know, I think with the full nut and the full circle, you know, those are shots you see all the time. You don't see this all the time. Oh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have included the full circle. But even moving it up a hair, you know, I don't know. I, I like it the way it is. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like it the way it is as well. Oh, no, I know. I know what you were saying. But, yeah, just you talking know, through it. That's all. Yeah, no, I just, you know, for me, I just like it the way it is. I, I like the textures. I like the detail. I like all the different, like, like shapes. <laughs> The light was just coming into that little corner and just like it, it was it was so brilliant and everything was lit up in such a different way and I thought that it was going to be too bright and I just started I just said oh well I'm just going to take a few pictures and see what happens and um, it really wasn't until I got home when I was looking at them that I'm like oh I wish I had taken way more than what I did because I thought it was going to be too bright and it, it that I was going to lose out on so much of the color. No, well, you definitely did not. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like how you didn't do the entire wheel either because behind it is, is, is this leaning against a house, I assume those are like clapboards. That that pattern would have distracted from, you know, it would because it's tighter, you focus right in here. And it keeps that kind of stuff out of it, out of focus. Yeah. Good choice. Well, thanks, guys. I feel so much better about this photo now. I was going back and forth between about three, and this was the consensus of what I was submitting tonight. So, I'm I'm really happy with the feedback I got. So, thanks, everybody. Yeah, it's fantastic. Great job. Thank you. All right. Like next up, we have Jacob. Well, let's do this. This is Sarah Long. 
Uh, no, it's under the uh, high rise. And um, I took this in uh, Kittery. Oh, okay. Oh, so this is the highway? Yeah. Very nice. Like, yeah, it looks like stairs upside down to me on the green on the beams. It's the highway? Yep. <sighs> I love you it, Jacob. You handled the shapes so well. Mm. Just draws you in. Just, it's it's yeah. a cool image, but I I wouldn't be able to tell what it is. <laughs> oh, but that's not the point. You don't need to know yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. What what focal length did you shoot this at? Uh, this was at 135 mil. Yeah, if you guys can see it, the, her, his settings are up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. I like the use of colors too. They they work well with what you've done. Yeah, and this little like bright corner throws the symmetry off just enough in the right way. But it's balanced by the the really light, right? Yep, exactly, right, yeah, right there. Here, yeah. Yep. No, it works. It works. I mean, remember what what um, Ella was talking about, which she's talking about that symmetry. Uh, some of the best symmetrical images are just a little bit asymmetrical. And that's what I'm keep trying to get at. It's like this is the right kind of asymmetrical symmetrical image. I wonder what kind of alien she would make out of it. <laughs> we'll, send, we'll send it to her. We'll send it to her. We're like, go crazy, Ella. So where's the where's the highway on this? Up above, right? Yeah. 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 These are like the concrete supports of a bridge or like a high rise. Is yeah. this okay. is this the bridge that's um the other one that looks like it's out of Lord of the Rings? No, this is this is the high rise bridge on ninety five. The one that's under construction right now. Right. Yeah. So, oh, when okay. um, so I'm actually on the kit. Uh, this is on the Kittery side, and you know they have like a bunch of they, they did like a bunch of construction. I'm assuming it was for the same uh, re, the same purpose that they're doing up top. Um. But you can you you drive under the highway like heading from Kittery, I, yeah, going yeah, to Elliot, going to like South Elliot. Yeah. Okay, I know where you are now. <clears throat> Jacob, what about if you uh, lighten this uh, the center where the angle di angle ion is? Just lighten that up a little bit all the way down. Would that add anything to these other angles on the other side? Mm. I mean, they'll, they've got lightness now, but as you go toward the center, they seem to um, lose this sense of being an angle, unless you really look. And I was thinking to lighten that up a little bit, and that might give it something. I, I don't know what you mean. All right. The, see the green girders going down the middle? Yeah. Okay. And you've got angle line that's at an angle. Just kind of light, like lighten those up. Lighten them up a little bit, going down, you know, toward the center a little bit more. Yeah. Make those a little bit more obvious. Just a thought. Yeah, I can I can uh, rework it and see how it looks. Yeah, just an idea. I like it. The framing of with the two columns on both sides is really nice. Mm. I had to, I, I shot it a little, I had to crop it in a little bit because on the, the bottom part of the picture, um, I was actually a lot lower. There's a fence right there. So I had to crop it up just at the top of that fence to make it work. Well, I, yeah, you made it work. It's, it's, yeah, I think it's great. And the outer dimensions being longer, um, not a traditional eight by 10 or anything like that, that really enhances it. 
the 16, <coughs> 16 by nine? Uh, let me check. Two by one. I think it was a 16 by nine. That's no, close. It's almost looks like a two one. Oh yeah, no, it's exactly 16 by nine. Oh, okay. Yep. I think the colors work really well to draw your eyes into it. I liked it because when the image came up, I looked down at the light on the bottom left. And then I, it, because it's lighter on the top, I it draw, drew my eyes up to the top. And then I just glanced all the way down through the entire bridge. It made it interesting. Yeah, and I, I didn't know if I wanted to, you know, have it looking like this, or if I wanted to get, you know, really creative and have it horizontally or, you know, completely flip it around and have it upside down. Yeah. Wouldn't change a thing. No, I love it. No, nope, wouldn't change a thing. I agree with yep. whoever said that. I, I personally like how these girders sort of get darker as they go. Yes. They sort of end up in this dark spot. With a little light there still to keep you atten keep your attention there. And then you get sort of like, it's like they all head down here and then you, they sort of branch off down here. Like both of these go down here and then they branch. There's symmetry throughout every portion of this. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And like just the placement, like where you, where you stood, like you nailed it. Thanks. Well executed. All right, Jacob wins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, print that. You should print that. Put that someplace in your home or something. That's cool. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to. Just <laughs> <laughs> I would. All right. Anybody have anything left for Jacob? Absolutely print worthy. I agree. Yep. Very nice. All right. All right. This one is Lisa Shirtless. Similar image. That is the scaffolding that is around South Church. Peter was going to take that picture just to annoy you, but he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yep, figured as much. <laughs> but yeah, it was around the whole building. And I debated, and I, I actually did last night before I sent it out to you, I debated cutting off the bottom, the feet. Yeah. I wasn't sure if that. Would that work or do they have to be there? Let's try it. I mean, I, I took, I did take them off and Oops. I looked at it. I just moved the whole bottom up. I think it takes away from the story when you do that. I think the story showing them on the legs tells you what they are. So then it, yeah. then it gives you something to look into, but, yeah. but yeah. it's still. I honestly think we're moving. He gets rid of a distraction because that really bright grass in the front was kind of pulling my eye away from it. I I, I kind of know what it, I can tell you it's the scaffolding, but I mean you could probably pull down a little bit too, but it just creates a better top and bottom with the bars. So you would take the bottom off of it. I yeah. would. Yeah, it really did work. I, I think it works. I think that's yeah. it's actually yeah. more There's symmetrical. Enough. Yeah. Yeah. There's enough. Well, because the leg the legs were crooked. Not really crooked, but right. the ground's crooked, so they weren't even with each other. And I did do that. And then I ended up just sending uh -huh. it the other way. Well, there's, there's enough legs like in here that you can you can tell it's scaffolding and I mean where the scaffolding is could be anywhere, but yeah. Sean, the... what, Sean, what if you tried cropping into just the bigger part of that opening? Um so take out like the bottom legs, like bring the bring the image, like the crop up. Yep. And bring it up, bring it down just a little bit right there. Between the two. Yep. Hmm. Looks like a cage. Yeah. There is a car at the other end of it too. Or a jail. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I prefer it a little bit longer on the. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah. me too. Hello there. Yeah. I think what the interesting thing is with cropped in is it, it makes you keep thinking about what it is. You don't always have to know what it is. It, it, it just draws you in because you're looking at it, trying to figure out what's going on in this, you know, where is it? What is it? Yeah, I think right about there. Probably. That's where I would. Uh, yeah. So crop out either side of it. Yeah, yeah, because my eyes immediately go to that center area. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it, it acts like a vanishing point. So you want all right. of these, everything to just take you in here. Yeah, Lisa, that's like really that. nice. Thank you. I like I like this crop too. Good job. Thank you. So Very I said the, the legs were kind of throwing me off if I wanted to leave them in there or not. But I like that crop too. I'd make it a little wider if I was going to go with that, but I, I think you have that great vanishing point there that's really leading me in. You go wider? Yes. A little bit wider, yeah, both sides. Right there. Like that. Mm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, I don't like that. No. Go the other way. You had a crop right in the beginning that I really like because it, it was wider too, but. Yeah, I think it needs to probably come in a bit. And I think it's important that you really try and get this as close to center as possible. Center, yep. So even if the rest of it's a little bit asymmetrical as far as like the crop is concerned, I have to put that right dead center, like everything just leads in that direction. Hmm. One of the things I like about it is that it's symmetrical, but then you also see some of the scaffolding at the very top. So it kind of it leads me down into the vanishing point, but then I also yeah. have a little it's also the little extra at the top. That's a little crap. Yeah, I liked I liked it much better in black and white. They mm -hmm. the color just didn't if you mm -hmm. left it in color, it didn't cut it. No. No, cut black and white was way better. Yep, and I definitely like the legs taken off down the bottom. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I do, uh, I agree. It does need to be cropped in, I think, all the way around. Yep. Yep, like definitely. I, this, I mean, everything, everything outside of this box is distraction. Yep. I think, in my opinion. Because that's that's your subject, that's your story, that's your symmetry, that's your leading lines. It's everything is right inside that box, and everything outside of it. Yeah, yep. Said so I, I definitely looked at the bottom, but I didn't look at, at the sides. I didn't bring in any, but I did the bottom. Yeah, I wonder if you just just cropped in the box. Yeah, and now you notice all of like these. How all of this just goes in this way. Yeah. You sort of lose that when it's the other way. Yep. Very cool though. It's, it's a lot like Jacob's where I could just stare at it and pick out details and follow the lines and where do they go and what else do I see? Jacob's, yeah, I wish Jacob's I had to gotten, do the same thing. Wish I could have gotten rid of the car on the other end, but. I don't even notice it's a car, to be honest. Yeah, where's the car? Right there. Oh. This? Yeah. I never knew that was a car. No, I, I can't tell. I didn't know car. that was a car either. Well, I guess maybe it, when it, it was almost in, looks like a like a Pixar car. When it was in color, it was definitely more noticeable. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I mean, you could take these highlights down a little bit up here so that the brightest thing in the image is inside this little box. So take all the mm -hmm. highlights down around it, maybe add a vignette or something. Um, you know, that might help kind of direct the eye in. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that. I mean, you, you mess around with it, but yeah. Yeah, bring your eyes back towards the center.
Something like that, maybe. Yeah. No, I liked it. I thought it was a cool picture. It is. Good eye. Nice catch. Thanks. Peter made me take that one. <laughs> 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 His creative side was showing when I took that. He was telling me what to take pictures of. <laughs> wow. Uh, see that, Chris? He does know what he's doing. Maybe I'll take him on my next photo shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice work, guys. Very yeah. nice. Very nice work. Very and nice. and Shelly, whatever you sent over that next time was it was actually smaller somehow. Seriously? Yeah, this one came through at 25 kilobytes. And then the next one came through at six, the, the last one. I though, took you, it right out of Photoshop. All right. 16 kilobytes. Yeah. So I'm not, okay. I'm not sure what's going on there. I, uh, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. It's not with it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I've been up since 4.15, so that probably- Oh, no, that's good. okay. You know- Interrupting my processing power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Very cool. It was Dublin Point Lighthouse. I mean, I it, just, it looks I just, great. You know, I mean, I know it's, I know it's not that, I know it's not out of focus or that pixelated. These lines right here coming to the, to the, I think all of these lines all heading down here, you couldn't have done better with that. That's fantastic. I'll, po need... I'll post to the Im image on the Facebook group, but what I if I need what? Need all that sky though. Yeah, I wasn't sure about the sky. Mm -hmm. And I actually took a picture when I got to the end of the lighthouse and turned around. If you just put it. like the lighthouse on the third line like that. Yeah. Yeah. Make something like there, maybe. Right there. Yeah. 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 There's just because the sky is so bright. Mm -hmm. You know, so it takes away from it. But yeah. I think that gives you better perspective too of like a tunnel vision vice. The other one where it's just really expansive mm -hmm. in the back. And it really brings your eye back towards that lighthouse to that door that's just slightly off centered too. Yeah. 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 When I was working with it, the the um, boards on the boardwalk are all they're not totally symmetrical either. So yeah. which, which which is fine, but yeah. No, I was just noticing that like these lines mm -hmm. here coming in are pretty mm -hmm. straight, mm -hmm. but these get all wavy when you get mm -hmm. closer, which is really cool, I think. Yeah. So I when I, I brought it in and then I saw that, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I like that. So I pulled it out, but yeah. 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 When you had the board that are like slightly crooked like that, it kind of, if you can see it like wave and it's kind of mm -hmm. neat to do that asymmetrical touch to it that doesn't make it look almost fake, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like that's the character of the lighthouse because it's old, it's, yeah. it's been there forever, so. Yeah. John, just for fun, can you crop it e down even further so that the sky starts um at the can. top of the the top of the um handrails make it more square you can even pull up from the bottom too yeah yeah I mean, we can do pretty much a one-to-one -one mm -hmm. like that and just i mean really intensify those angles yeah it does <laughs> yeah. yeah all right i'll play with it and i'll throw that in from side to side mm -hmm. Yeah, it helps with this, the overall symmetry as well, because now you have just equal weight on both sides and everything leading into the white, the lighthouse, yeah. including these lines. I mean, these of the, uh, I don't know what they are, yeah, rails yeah. or whatever, but mm -hmm. um, the way that they even they angle towards in because of the distortion, mm -hmm. I'm assuming it's a pretty wide angle lens. Yeah, that's 24 millimeter. Yeah, so there's a little bit of distortion going on here, which is just working mm -hmm. in your favor. Yeah. That's so, all right. Yeah, I think that's great. <laughs> Sorry for the image. I don't know what my Oh, no, no. That's, like. hey, you know what? It's all right. <laughs> Were you on that photo shoot with Lisa? Me? No. I haven't really been out shooting at all. Just starting to pick it well, up. Well, no, I, I know what Lisa, Lisa posted pictures um, that she went off on a photo shoot with, I don't know, some group. I, I forget what it is. She posted it and I signed up for some of, signed up to look at some of the workshops. Yeah, this is um not that's not the same lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, kind of looks the same. The one that I went to was Marshall Point. You went to Marshall Point, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's down on Point Fort Clyde. This is Dublin, Dublin Point, which is up in Arusuk. 
which is oh, just okay. a different peninsula. It's, it's still the mid coast. So yeah, I've been, I went on I've Mother's been, Day. Been okay. to that one too. It's a, that's a very cool lighthouse. Yeah, there's a square. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. And this oh, there's is the, another one. This is um the, the <laughs> second one that Chris sent in. I feel like you know we have we've got a few minutes until nine. We can take a look. Why not? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, stop it. There's no, there's no sorry in photography. <laughs> well, I like the top and the bottom and the side to side. So it all hit me as being symmetrical. It's very symmetrical, yeah. It's like, it's funny because it's a weird sort of symmetrical where the top and bottom are, it's bisected and the bottom is symmetrical with itself and the top is symmetrical with itself. And it's weighted nicely, light and dark. Yeah, it's, it's a cool image. Thanks. It's almost like it's gridded itself off in the photo. Mm. I actually, before I cropped it quite that close, which was Peter's recommendation, um, I had part of the windows above the window boxes there included in it. And one was lighter than the other with a strong reflection in it. And I think that was, I wanted to fix that somehow, but I didn't and couldn't. And uh, when Peter looked at it, he said, no, it needs to be flatter. <laughs> Get rid of those windows. So I did. <laughs> I think you need yeah, it just needs to be graphical. So doing a throwback to that day, if I'm remembering correctly, he had a map mask on that was a Mondrian mask. So I think that that's what he was re reflecting on that. And that's why he was one of the squares and the different textures. Good memory, Asina, good memory. <laughs> that must've been it when you wear that, you think. <laughs> squares, yeah, yeah like rectangles. Okay. Symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> And I actually thought the colors in this were more distracting, which is why it's black and white. So, black, black and white. Very nice. Well, thank you. I was captivated by the sign there because Peter and I know Daniel Webster from Marshfield, Massachusetts. Yeah. The Daniel Webster house is there. And so I was surprised when I saw this. I think that's what caught my eye first. And then I went to the, oh yeah, it kind of looks the same, 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 same. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody. And then in Franklin, New Hampshire, his birthplace is there. Very cool. Yeah. We do live in a cool part of the country, if you like history. We do. And it's We're not even that hard to find. No, it's not. I love that New Hampshire has all the historical markers posted everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Um, don't see that as much in Massachusetts, but we, we were living in the area near Quincy, which was John Quincy Adams and, and John Adams and Abigail Adams and Daniel Webster, and there was another. Daniel Webster Wildlife Refuge down in Marshfield. Yeah, it's a great place to spend time. I lived in, I lived in Idaho for a while, and history back there was 1850, 1826. I mean, outside of Lewis and Clark, there wasn't a lot of history back in the 1600s. There was not, as I could see, outside of the Native American history. It was kind of funny. Yeah, way back in our history in 1851. That's history. That was yesterday. <laughs> I have a friend who lives in a house that old. Yeah, see? <laughs> well, really nice work today. Good job, everybody. Thank you. It was. Hey. Great for us. I feel like uh, I feel like we're getting better. <laughs> of course we are. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do that. All right. Okay.
And look at that, nine o'clock on the dot. Yay. Oh. Nice job. Without Monique keeping time and everything. <laughs> Don't let her know that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's all great work. It really, uh, I mean, so what do you guys think of, I mean, I know we did the walk and everything, which I'm hoping was helpful for everybody. Um, it was. Yeah, that yeah. was a lot of fun. Yeah. That really yeah. was fun. I really feel like I needed that. So um, if you guys have photos, because there's been very little activity, and if you have like a small gallery or something you want to share on the members only page, you know, feel free to. I know I'm sitting on a bunch that I never posted anywhere because I didn't know, I didn't want to just like spam the group to death. I'm, wor I'm working on your, your favorite rival team right now, the Red Sox. We went to a game last Wednesday night. We sat in the um, Jim Bean dugout suite right on the field. Oh, so I'm working on those pictures right now. Action shots. That's what I was working on all night. Did they let you bring in your camera? Oh, yeah, they did. Actually, it was funny because I had to size my bag down and it still was too big. So I tried squishing it and they said, no, it still won't go small enough. Well, then I opened it up and it had Eric's oxygen battery in it and his oximeter. And I said, but I have my husband's medical stuff. They went, it's a medical bag, right? I went, yeah, it's a medical bag. So they let me <laughs> <laughs> so that was a good thing so yeah they let me bring it in with me but um i tried to convince the photographers that were sitting right next to us the professional photographers to switch lenses with me because he had this great big honkin lens and it would have fit on my canon just perfect but he wouldn't give it to me where were you sitting lisa the jim bean dugout box right on the field oh okay so the the there was the dugout for the Red Sox, then the camera crew. There was three um, photographers, and then ours. So we were at field level with wow. them. My, it was my brother-in-law's 50th birthday, and my sister-in-law and brother-in-law have more money than they know what to do with. So she rented the box, so 12 of us to go out to the game. Nice. And pay for everything. Yeah. Paid wow. for everything. It was kind of nice. And then my husband gave Boston grief Thursday night and said, you couldn't have called me last night. I was already here. <laughs> yeah. All Thursday night, we had to go back into Boston again. <laughs> but it was worth it. We went to um, um, a workshop that was sponsored by, was it Hunts? By Hunts, yeah. By Hunts with the um, Red Sox, where we got to tour the whole facility. With those photographers that wouldn't let you use their lenses. Yeah, really? Billy, yeah. Billy Weiss was one of Billy them. Billy Weiss, right? yeah. Yeah. And um, it was phenomenal. We went up into the uh, over the green monster. Actually, we we could they go gave in. Us, they gave we got to see the stadium before the people showed up. Well, what was good for about this is that it's only uh, what a third, twenty five percent capacity. So there was nobody there. Yes. Mm. Uh, it was very very few people there, so it was kind of neat. But. Yeah, it was kind of fun sitting on the field. I got a lot of shots. I don't know. I took like 300 pictures that night. Something. I believe it. Bye, everybody. I got to go. Bye. All right. Bye, it's good Shelley. to see you all. Yeah. Hey, bye, Shelly. Same here. Bye, I'm Shelly. stating. I got to go night night. Okay. Thank you. Right. Bye, right, guys. See you later. Bye. Let's call it a day. Did you hear about the baseball player that got hit with a 94 mile an hour ball in the face? We did. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's on the news. He, there was a, I don't know what team it was, but he got Lark, hit yeah. a face with, with the ball at 94 miles an hour. That hurt. Yeah, yeah. Was, well, uh, Kevin, Kevin Pilar. 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 Yeah. Kevin Pilar, and he played in Boston for a while. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he's going to have, I guess he that did a number on his nose. <clears throat> Multiple nasal fractures, they said, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so thankful he didn't get hurt most seriously. Mm. Brings, brings me back, brings back memories of Tony Knigliaro. I don't, that was tragic. That was bad too. So, hate to see anybody get hurt playing a game. But yeah, I'll post some of them pictures when I get to working on them. Awesome. Probably about you know, six months from now. No, 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 no. <laughs> I really was looking forward to Mount Auburn on Thursday, Pat. I really was. <laughs> It'll be there. It's, not, it's moving not going it. anywhere. <laughs> I know. I was just, I needed, I needed a mental health Lisa day and it was really looking good. And I was really looking forward to it. We'll have to sneak we'll up have on to that do one. do it again. <laughs> yeah.
Now I got a clean pollen out of my house. Well, good luck. Congratulations again on your husband. That's Thank such you. Great, that's such Thank good news. You. Yeah, yeah well, it really was. It was a three and a half year battle. It was um, very unexpected news, but very welcome news. We were total in total shock on the phone. We didn't answer the phone. We didn't know who it was, so we didn't answer the phone when they called. And then we went, she called the house and I went, same person, maybe I ought to answer this phone call. And it was Brigham and Women's telling us we had a lung, so glad I answered it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. They, probably, they probably go on to the next person. Yeah, I mean, they left us a message. They still had my cell phone. They still had a third phone to try, so they'd only try. They would have had one more. And when I saw the name on the third phone, they left me. So... so. Well, good night, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thank yeah. you so much. Good night, all. Good night. Good night, night everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Thank you. Thanks.